like to introduce you to our guest of honor this evening. Diana Gabaldon is the author of the popular New York Times best-selling Outlander saga novels. Most recently, that would include A Breath of Snow and Ashes, which was a number one bestseller, as well as the Lord John novels and short fiction uh, coming out shortly. So we're very to have her here. Ms. Gabaldon won the 2006 Quill Award for her most recent Outlander novel, and she is here to read to us tonight from her most recent hardcover release entitled Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade, following which she'll answer your questions posed by me. I'd like to introduce Ms. Diana Gabaldon, reading from Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade. What's that? He heard Brett say, startled, and looked where his ensign was pointing. Several tall, pointed shapes were dimly visible among the trees on the other side of the dike. He blinked and made sense of what he was seeing, just as one of the shapes flung back its arm and hurled something in his direction. Grenades, he roared. Get clear, get clear. The first one struck a few feet to his right and exploded, sending pottery shards in all directions. Some struck Carolus, who shied violently, then bucked and reared, as grenades struck the bank between the ditches. Bright flashes from the ones that went off, others rolling like fallen apples, smothered and harmless in the dirt. A few with live fuses hissing like snakes. Gray grappled the reins in one hand, fumbling for his pistol. There was a sudden feeling of warmth down his face, a sting of blood running into one eye. He got the pistol and fired blind. There were bangs nearby and the smell of powder. Brett and Tarleton were firing too. A thunder of hooves, Brett's mount riderless, fled past Gray. There. He glanced round there. Brett had been thrown, was rising from the ground, smeared with mud. Get back, Gray shouted, pulling Carlos's head around. The grenadiers were pulling back, too, out of pistol range. But one lucky last throw landed the live one in the grass at Brett's feet, a blue clay spear fused sparking. The boy stared at it, transfixed. All right, let's thank Diana for the moment. Thank, that was a great reading from her new book, Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade. And let's get to some questions here. Can you please explain to everyone here in the amphitheater and all the affiliates what you mean when you call one of your best characters a mushroom, and then talk a little bit about why he is one and how he came to dominate these two novels, Brotherhood of the Blade and Private Matter, and the collection of shorter fiction, Hands of Devils, coming in about a month. Oh, absolutely. Well, to me, characters are one of three things. They're either onions, mushrooms, or hard nuts. Okay, an onion is a character whose uh, essence I apprehend immediately. I know who they are, but as I work with them and live with them, they develop additional layers you know, of complexity and experience. They become sort of more vivid, more rounded, and pungent. Uh, a hard nut is someone that I have by reason of the story rather than because they, uh, they actually occurred to me as a character. So uh, a hard nut, it takes me a while to work with before they'll crack open and reveal their essence. A mushroom, though, is sort of the opposite. A mushroom is a person that I was not expecting, had no idea of, but just popped up out of nowhere and immediately walks off with whatever scene they're in. Uh, Lord John is definitely a mushroom. I wasn't expecting him at all when he popped up in Dragonfly and Amber and tried to assassinate Jamie Fraser. As one interviewer said to me, well, that's a mistake you make only once. Do you really enjoy working on multiple things? And without giving anything away for the end of our presentation here tonight, what multiple things are you working on right now? Oh, yes. Well, I, I do like to work on multiple things. I learned to do this back in the day when I had two full-time jobs and three small children under the age of six, which is when I decided to start writing my first novel. I do have other books under contract. I have a contemporary mystery that I've been working on for uh, in bits and pieces for several years that I hope to finish in the next year or so. So there's that. And, uh, you know, and uh, you know, the next Lord John book and... Uh, you know, I have a whole stack of things that I can switch amongst, though it usually tends to be the one or two top things in the stack that I'm concentrating on. Do we expect, we're we going to expect another Lord, Lord John novel coming, and will we see him in what we're all calling Volume 7? <laughs> uh, the answer to those is both. Uh, the book that's coming out in November, Hand of Devils, that is a collection of three novellas. It is not the third novel under my contract to write Lord John novels. So there is, in fact, a, a separate Lord John novel to be written yet called Lord John and the Scottish Prisoner. When is the next Jamie and Clara novel? Can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on with what we call Volume 7 and where you are with it? Would you perhaps like me to read you a small bit of Book 7? That looks like a yes to me. Yes. Um, Diana, would you be so kind as to read to us from Book 7? I would be thrilled. So that's it, she said, her voice growing colder. You think you can talk your way out of paying me now, is that it? No, that is not it, for God's sake. 
Because, she said, ignoring his denial and swinging round to face him, bright-eyed, you can't. You shamed me before the whole county, Jamie Fraser, luring me into a sinful match with you, and then betrayed me, laughing at me behind your hand with your stuff in that core. I said it, didn't. and now you come back from America, fardled up like an English popinjay. Her lip curled in scorn at his good ruffled shirt, where she'd worn to show her respect, goddammit. Flaunting your wealth and playing the great young with your ancient hussy, foaming in her silks and satins on your arm, is it? Well, I'll tell you. She swung the broom down from her shoulder and drove the handle of it violently into the ground. You didn't understand one thing about me. You think you can awe me into crawling away like a dying dog and troubling you no more. Think again. That's all I'll say to you. Just think again. I can't wait for the rest of it. All right, everyone. <laughs> let's give Diana Gamaldon a round of applause and a big thank you for coming into Second Life and doing a special reading from both John, Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade and Volume 7. Go to Diana's site and read excerpts from all of her books and check out the on-sale date for her next release, which is Lord John and the Hand of the Devils. It'll be a great holiday gift for you and for everyone who loves great reading. Thanks again and good night.